Worker shortages have been affecting many industries across the country recently, as you know. Some who are also feeling the impacts, though, the first responders. Officials from fire departments across Kentuckiana say it's been so hard to close the gaps they desperately need to fill. WHS 11's Ford Sanders today sat down with two fire chiefs to hear what they're going through during these tough times. When it comes to hiring new recruits, multiple fire chiefs tell me that with all the qualifications that are actually needed, sometimes it feels impossible to bring on a new group of firefighters. Our problem here is, is that we're a smaller department. Uh, we compete with much larger departments on getting personnel in. That's the problem that officials with both career and volunteer fire departments say they're facing. With a shortage of workers across many industries, they say it's hard to get people into the roles they need filled. We have had to up our numbers to 36 is our cap now, and we struggle to try to maintain that number. Uh, right now, we're actually only at 30. James Ritchie is the chief for the Scottsburg, Indiana Fire Department. He says with their program being volunteer based, there can be a lack of incentives for people to join and stay committed. It's a huge commitment for someone that's a volunteer to come in and have to do two four hour classes a night for three months um, for a volunteer program. But what about the career based departments? Shepherdsville Fire Department Chief John Lane Troutman says they are not only short in hires, but also from their full time staff as well. With the five that were short from hiring uh, and the three that are off injured, uh, puts us at eight people down. So it puts us almost an entire engine company down uh, every shift. As far as qualifications, well, it can mean hours and hours of training along with other certifications and tests. But Chief Troutman says they're working to figure out how to make it more accessible. The next time we hire, we're looking at hiring somebody straight off the street, putting them through a re, uh, EMT class, then putting them through a uh, firefighting class. Both chiefs say this job is one that they wouldn't trade for the world and are even getting creative when it comes to sparking that interest in others. During the summer, we actually do a firefighter camp where uh, we can bring in school age children and kind of just let them see how what it is to be a firefighter to maybe strike that interest, get that flame of, you know, that passion. In Louisville, Ford Sanders, WHS 11 on your side.